I would like you, before we do anything else, to say hello to a new friend that I have made just a few moments ago, standing to my left, Mr. Chuck Norris, sir. Uh, Chuck, I know that's a karate outfit that you're wearing, but what is the name of the garment? What do you call it? It's called a gi. G-H-I. Right, it's a Japanese word, meaning uniform. Uh Mm Uh-huh. Now, may I ask you what degree of black belt you hold in, uh, in karate? Yes, I hold a fifth degree black belt. That's quite high, isn't it? It's pretty high, yes. Yeah. How much do you weigh, Chuck? I weigh 170 pounds. 170 pounds? Look, he's not a whole lot taller than that. He's a rugged guy. <laughs> now, all these statistics may not mean much to you at the moment, but they're going to add up to mean a great deal in a very few moments. Well, our first guest is also a karate expert, and he can throw Chuck to the ground with the greatest of ease. How much do he weigh? And let us meet our karate expert right now. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, what is your name, please? My name is Philip Paley. Number two. My name is Philip Paley. Number three. My name is Philip Paley. Okay, thank you, Chuck, very much. See you a little later in the show. Now, it's hard to believe that any one of these sterling young gentlemen down here could possibly be fibbers, but two of them are. Let's try to find the truth teller as I read for you Philip Paley's compendium on karate. And this is what he has to say. I, Philip Paley, am the peewee pro-amateur karate champion of the United States. It all started when I was five years old. My mother and I were shopping, and I saw the sign of a karate school. I begged her to let me take lessons, and she said yes. Now I can break boards with my hand or with my foot. I can toss a 200-pound man to the ground, and in all I have won 14 karate tournaments, a record for my age. I hold another record. At the age of nine, I became the youngest person in the United States ever to qualify for the coveted black belt. Signed, Philip Paley. Now, we have three young men patiently standing up behind the desk over there. They're all claimed to be Philip Paley, the youngest person in America ever to qualify for a black belt in karate. And number two, how many days a week did you practice? Three days a week. Three days. Number two. Now, in addition to that 170-pound man who was out here, can you throw anyone else who weighs about that much or 200 pounds? Yes. Can you name one? No. Okay. Number two, is the black belt the top award, the best you can do? Yes. Oh. Number two, is karate like kung fu? Well, uh, no. No? No. They yell a lot in that. Well, it's really not the yelling. It, it's, it's, um, well, it's kind of like judo and karate put together. It's kind of comes out in like kung fu. Thank you. And number two, when did you start karate? Number two, Londi. Um, <laughs> um, I started karate when I was five years old. Number two, you mentioned something about the yelling. You mentioned it was just the yelling. How important? How how important is the yelling in black belt karate? Well, the yelling is uh, to uh, scare off your opponent, and it's uh, to tighten up your stomach when uh, you, uh, you're going to get a blow. It's time for you to uh, vote now, panel, if you will. And who do we like over here best? Not who do we like, but who do we think is the real Philip? Is it number one? Or is it number two? Or is it number three? Out of the goodness of oh, our hearts, we pay them $50 for each wrong vote. We pay them $500 <laughs> if the team for the panel goes down to defeat. And Kitty starts, please. Well, I'd take any one of the three, not only to defend me, but to go home with me. But I have to vote for one of them, so I'm going to vote for number three. All right, we got a three, Sean. Going down to Gene Rayburn. Listen, if it's number two... Mm. Yes? If he's the one, I'll eat this card on camera. <laughs> uh, he's, he's pretty knowledgeable. He, he said a lot of good stuff there, but it's really number three. Look at the blood in his cheeks. He's had a lot of exercise there. Ha! <laughs> All right, we got a pair of threes and Peggy. You promised. You yes, did? I did. Okay. Now, everybody says that exercise makes you look a lot younger. He doesn't look, number two doesn't look old enough to be nine, but he's at that karate day and night, so that's why he looks so young. Besides, it's the cutest thing I ever saw in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got a two show in there. Bill Cullen, how are you going to go? 
Well, they're good. They all had me fooled. But number they're one good. said his marks hadn't improved as a result of his newfound prowess, and that sounds like an honest man. And I figure he's an honest man, so I voted. And a karate man, so I voted for him. All right. They're all over the place. Number three has got two votes. The votes are in. Now, ordinarily, I would say, will the real fella please stand up? But they're already standing up so that you can see them. So I will say, at this point, will the real Philip Paley please sit down? Yes, uh, Gene, Gene Rayburn is now going to give a card eating at no, no, Small box. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of him a for the rest salt of the pepper, show. A little salt and pepper. I don't need a napkin. I know. I've got enough paper. On, salt and pepper is what I need. That's enough. That's oh, enough, Gene. We you. won't hold you to the whole thing. Philip, as, as we promised earlier, you're going to give us an exhibition. So if you'll go out center stage. Well, I see that Philip and Chuck are ready. So let's take a look at what a nine-year-old, 42-pound lad can do to a 170-pound strong man. Go to it, fellas. Take care of yourself, Chuck. I'll try to. Good film. Very nice. Got him now. What? <laughs> oh. Very good. And may I say, on behalf of Philip and the two imposters, you were all great, but the nicest thing I can say about you after having known you briefly is all three of you got marvelous manners. Keep it up. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Gary. Good luck. <laughs> Friends, we hope you'll keep us in mind. Come tomorrow at the same time. Take care. This is Bill Wendell speaking for it to tell the truth. A Marcus and Bill Totman production.